better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey guys, it's Melissa. Welcome back to today's health tip. Hope everybody is having a fantastic week. We made it through hump day. It is Thursday. The weather is looking clear. Kids are getting adjusted to school and new routines. It is fully September, September 12th this morning. Welcome everybody. It's uh, Thursday here at The Good Company. We talk about toning up, movement, getting our bodies in optimal shape so that we can take on anything the world throws at us. The best part for me of getting in shape is feeling strong. Yeah, there's a little bit of weight loss. Yeah, I sleep a little bit better. But really feeling strong, being able to do just about anything in this body is the reason that I work out. And you can kind of get a little obsessed with working out, trying different classes, pushing yourself to run a little bit further. But I want to talk today really quickly about recovery and the importance of recovery and what a recovery day maybe looks like. So for me, all my mornings start the same with my bulletproof coffee, my water, sometimes with apple cider vinegar in water or lemon in water before any of that to get myself going. Um, If I'm not working out, and I always work out in the mornings, but if I'm not working out, I will try to slate some time for foam rolling, for stretching, for maybe doing some core work, some sit-ups. A lot of my workouts don't have enough core work for me, so I'll do sit-ups or planks. Um, My goal is to incorporate a very low-impact, gentle yoga class into my routine at least twice a month. I mean, let's be honest, I would love to do it once a week. An hour and a half is a long time for me to dedicate to something. Um, But I also can do it in the privacy of my own home. I have a yoga mat, I have a TV with YouTube on it, and I'm sure I can find lots of yoga classes to take. So this today is, this is how I do recovery and how I work out. Remember, it's different for everybody. Find what works for you, but don't forget, you know, in that quest to be strong and fit, Um, sometimes we don't make enough time for recovery. So this is your reminder, make some time for recovery. Um, If you don't know what that should look like for you, lots of YouTube videos out there, you can do what I do, which is the stretching and um, sometimes even a bath, a nice Epsom salt bath followed by stretching is a great way to get it done. Take that time seriously. Your recovery days are just as important as your days that you're working out. 